everyone. My name is Val. I'm a reference librarian and the manager of the main branch library for Yuma County Library District. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to create a paint chip landscape. This craft is very forgiving and it allows you to be as creative as you want. You can create your own scene completely or try your hand at copying a scene or a painting like I'm going to do. Let's get started. The supplies you will need are assorted paint chips. It's a good idea to have a plan for your final product so you know what colors you will need. You can go to your local DIY store to pick some up or reuse the old ones that you haven't gotten around to tossing. Mod Podge. If you haven't checked out this craft supply in a while, you are in for a treat. There are currently 17 different types of Mod Podge available. They all have their specific niches and are especially crafted for different types and varieties of crafts. I'm going to stick with matte because it's what I had in the closet and it's very universal. You can create your landscape on a canvas, piece of cardboard, or some cardstock. You're looking for something sturdy to hold your landscape. Depending on where you plan to display your creation, you might change your medium. I plan to hang it on my refrigerator, so I'm going to use cardstock. You'll also want to grab a flat paintbrush, a pair of scissors, and a table covering you don't mind gets ruined. Looking at the paint chips I had available, I decided to imitate a landscape painting by Vincent van Gogh titled Wheatfield with Crows. The iconic tortured artist Vincent van Gogh is now a household name and one of the most popular artists of all time. Over the course of his decade-long career, he produced nearly 900 paintings and more than 1,100 works on paper. The majority of his best-known works were produced during the last two years of his life. Despite his prodigious productivity, Van Gogh suffered from bouts of mental instability, likely including epilepsy, psychotic episodes, delusions, and bipolar disorder. On July 27, 1890, Van Gogh walked into a nearby wheat field and shot himself in the chest with a revolver. He would die two days later. Perhaps what makes Van Gogh so popular is the way each of his paintings convey the emotional and spiritual state of the artist. The rich palette he employs makes it easy for viewers of all artistic backgrounds to interpret how Van Gogh himself saw and perceived the scenes he captured. Painted in the last months of his life, Wheatfield with Crows almost vibrates with a sense of apprehension and dark premonitions. The rich blue stormy sky contrasts with the yellow wheat below, which gives the whole painting a rather foreboding atmosphere. The dark birds flying through the scene add a sense of looming menace. The three paths in the foreground are often interpreted as Van Gogh's own belief that he had nowhere to go, no way of escape from his own mental anxieties and concerns. It's so moody, whenever I look at this painting I want to curl up and just hide from the world. It's hard not to interpret this painting as a manifestation of Van Gogh's despair. Yet, despite the widely circulated theory, there is no evidence that Wheatfield with Crows is the painting Van Gogh had on his easel at the time he shot himself. Okay, here we go. Select paint chip colors of your choice to create your landscape background. If you're creating your own image, you can tear blue chips to create sky. Use your scissors to cut out mountains, rivers, trees, or animals. Practice arranging them as you want your landscape to appear. I've already cut my yellow chips to create a horizon. When you've got a basic plan, get the rest of your materials ready. I'm putting the Mod Podge in a plastic cup for easier access. The first step is to apply a base coat to your canvas. Here, the Mod Podge is acting like glue to hold your paint chips to the paper. Starting at the top of your canvas, apply your paint chips one by one, layering each with a healthy coat of Mod Podge. Continue working down the canvas as you create the rest of your background. Next, you want to place your detail items. I've decided to crop the original painting down to one path, and I know I want it to run through the middle of my field. 
I drew out the path on several paint chips and trimmed it to the appropriate size. Just as you did with your background, apply a fresh layer of Mod Podge, place your item, and reapply more sealant. Continue this process with the rest of your item. I've added the grass in the pathway and used the edges of my paint chips to create sprigs of wheat to add more dimension to my landscape. I also use leftover yellow to create a sun. I didn't have black paint chips, so I used construction paper to create my menacing birds. Once you have everything in place, apply a final coat. Let your project dry. Depending on how heavy-handed you were with the Mod Podge, this could take as little as 15 to 20 minutes. I tend to use a lot, so mine took about an hour to dry. And there you have it, the final landscape. I'm not sure Van Gogh would approve, but I had a lot of fun making it, and I hope you do as well when you make your own creation.